Okay, YouTube, welcome back. My name is Damien Oliver. Um, this, this is my channel on Feed the Beast Infinity Vault, and uh, specifically the Skyblock version. Um, as you can see, I am on a server, and chat is quite active today. So, um, last episode we managed to, to set up a water wheel, and in between episodes, I've been doing a little bit of work based on that, basically setting up a second one. Um, I also now have a, another energy cell in between the two dynamos. So both water wheels are powering the dynamo. Um, I believe it's like 30 RF per wheel, so six wheels, that should be about 180 RF per tick. Compared to the uh, 5 RF a tick that my uh, uh, survival generator is going, that's incredibly fast. Still not fast enough, but we'll get to it later. Um, I've also started uh, power, or creating a power line that's going to go across the ceiling, and I think this area over here is going to be my workplace. But the first thing we need to do to get started with that is first um, we're going to need to create a uh, an automation system so we stop running out of resources. I mean some of my resources like silver and uh, stuff is pretty good. Um, gold and even my iron has taken a severe hit. Um, also ran out of redstone at one point. So, uh, how are we going to do this? Well, first of all I'll need to grab stuff for uh, I think what we're going to focus on first is called transfer nodes. We're going to want the item one. Ideally, we want the, like, an ender pearl, but I can't seem to get one to spawn. So this one's just going to be a little heavy in terms of redstone usage. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need a transfer pipe. Fortunately, the transfer pipe recipe, while you know not exactly cheap, does give off multiples. And I suppose the recipe really isn't that bad, things considered. We're also going to need um, probably three or four transfer nodes. So let's do this. I'll grab five just to be on the safe side. And we're going to need an equal number of chests. Remember, we only get two planks per chest, so... Oops, that's only about half of what I need. There we go. I'm going to be getting to a lumber mill once I get a chance because that would really help out the uh, problem with the uh, lumber right now. So once we have all that, just do this and I'm a little lacking in the smooth sound, but I can fix that. Um, so, let me go grab about half a stack here and get that cooking. I forgot to transfer all of my coal into coal coke, which may not be the wisest idea, but yeah. Okay, so that's cooking. <clears throat> now, we already have uh, the automatic seed, which is a good start, but we also need an automatic hammer. There we go. 
And that's fairly simple, all things considered. It just needs invar, which remember invar is just in your smeltery. It's uh, two iron to one nickel or ferrous, depending on what your mod pack decides to call it. So um, let's see here. I have all that stuff here in bar and wall piston and heavy plate. There we go. And that'll be the start. Oh, actually, rather, our cobbleton will be the start. Uh, we may move that down there for this for purposes of this, but we'll get to that shortly. And let's see here. What was the other thing? Oh. Uh, helps if I spell right. The compressor is something new from uh, X-Compressum. And I have noticed that it doesn't like to make X-Compressum's own compressed dust for whatever reason. It doesn't like doing that, but everything else I put in there seems to be fine. Um, so it's basically just an iron block, iron uh, crafting table, so it's pretty cheap all things considered. I actually have another one of those over there, which I think I'm going to snag for now. There we go. couple transfer nodes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Now you want to set, leave a little bit of room for the uh, the lava jet if we do bring it down here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up here. Maybe I should make a wall here, but if necessary, I can move the whole setup. Um, actually, I'm probably going to want another hammer at some point. Okay, so we got this. We got the hammer. There we go. The hammer will go to sieve, and the sieve will go to one of the two uh, compressors. Why two? Well, um, it seems that the compressor only has 12 slots, um, and there's a lot more ores and stuff like that. Oh. What the heck? Hello. You were almost a really bad problem right there. Oi. Okay, so the, comp the compressors can only compress 12 things. This is basically to help uh, prevent overflow. Um, the transfer node tries to transfer it to the closest one available, which in this case should be this compressor here. If that compressor is full, then it goes to the next one. Um, now, really, what we're going to want is those two coming back out of each other, and I need to go grab another chest. Seriously? Where the heck are you guys coming from? Turn on my light overlay here. He definitely started attacking me up here. As far as I can tell, they didn't escape from the mob farm, so I'm not sure where they came from. Hmm. 
Interesting. It occurs to me I'm going to need another hammer or two. Okay. Okay, what I'll do is I'll put that there. No more zombies sneaking up behind me. That's good. And then I'll go get a hammer. Probably going to need an item filter too. So I'll be right back once I got the uh, hammer taken care of. And hopefully I can track down where these zombies are coming from. But yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, folks, welcome back. I got my other hammer, and this here is how you make an item filter. They're pretty cheap and easy, all things considered. Um, the only real problem with it is the amount of redstone I'm going through for the piping system in the first place. But besides that, this is pretty easy. Um, and basically you just right click on it and it has a number of slots you can use. Now if we look up dust here real quick. Which is not as helpful as I might have hoped it was. Um, how about ore dust? There we go. At least that's better anyways. Um, I don't think we need to focus on all of these because I don't I don't think I've gotten uranium or mithril yet. Um, or, or a lot of these actually. So let's take a look at the ones I have gotten. I've gotten your all right, so that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's eleven slots, and we only have nine right now. That's okay. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create another item. Uh, or mix it with an, a redstone torch and that causes it to be inverted. That basically blacklists things instead of whitelisting things. Then we're going to grab a string, um, some more sticks, and we'll just create another one. There we go. The nice thing about these item filters is they can be stored in, in each other. So. Alternatively, I could, you know, leave that uninverted and just get the, you know, the small particle effect stuff, but that would cause more issues down the line, really. Hmm. I also forgot about some things like flint and stuff that can't be compressed. So this system is going to be kind of an ongoing thing here. Not a bad thing per se, but well, really, in that case, it might just be better to do the parts. That way, it doesn't just keep cycling stuff back through. Hmm. Well, the uh, advanced filter is a little bit better. I'm not sure how many it has, though. But this is a good time to find out, so let's go over here. Alright, that's in the corners. 
Okay, so. Huh. I did say dust in there, didn't it? Hmm. Let's try that out. See how it works. Also, to get to figure out how this whole system goes, we should grab some cobblestone just to for a test run here. That reminds me, I'm gonna have to stream power over to this too. Hmm. Now we'll have to see how that does. For now I'll just put that there. Let's feed in some cobblestone here. Like I said, I'm going to need to run power over here, so give me just a moment, folks, while I, you know, work with my ceiling here. Okay guys, welcome back. Now you can kind of see my setup here. Now that I've got power going to it, it is, you know, running. The hammer and the uh, auto sieve here are both consuming about 4 or 8 uh, RF per tick. Which should be uh, easily enough from what we've got over there. Um, and as you can see, it's already gone through most of a stack of cobble. I'll just tap that up here real quick. Um, everything's transferring over correctly. This is the reason why I wanted to have two compressors, because while some of this will get filtered out as soon as I connect power, um, it's nice to have the overflow. And really, I'm not sure if I want the diamonds to be compressed. Let's try that again. I know in normal Minecraft you can just break parts of diamonds. I'm not sure if you can here. Oh, yep, yep, you can. Okay, so that's not a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the wires here. And then I'm going to connect this one off of the secondary. Um, because as, as I understand it right now, the power is flowing through this line, and right here the power is going to split into different parts. Um, but if I connect it to each other like this, it's still going to use the same amount of power on this line, and then be transferred over when the other one has the excess. Or maybe both. Either way, both of these only require about 5 RF per tick, despite what the the GUI is a little messed up right now, but it only requires 5 RF a tick uh, to start running, and they're pretty good about that, honestly. The only thing I will note is you're more likely to get diamonds and appetite in the first one. So I'm going to just move those over. And as you can see, we're starting to get things settled here. Unfortunately, this item filter does not seem to be working correctly, which I can't say I'm totally surprised about.
Let's try that one. Okay, so that's not the answer. That might work. Yep, that seems to work. Now let's see if it takes my coal too. Good, good, good. No coal. Okay, that seems to work. I still think I may need to put in another item filter in there to prevent the ore dust from trying to go in here. But we'll see how that works out later. I am going to need another transfer node, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm really running low on dust, so. Really running a little on a lot of things actually, but Normally I wouldn't do that with saplings, at least not a scrap block map, but you know, time is time. Okay, so... What am I missing? Oh, a chest. Put that one there. 
there. That should start transferring things back out. I'm good. Okay, so that seems to be working well. Now let's take a look at our power here. Wow, we are actually eating up more power than it's capable of handling right now. That's kind of impressive. Okay, well, this is at least a start. And even if it is running out, we aren't going to be running completely dry on this, fortunately. So. I think we're going to call it a day there, guys. Um, as you can see, we are starting to uh, get everything sorted out here. And yeah, it may take a little bit, but um, with this at least, we have a good chance of everything um, becoming automated. Let's put it that way. Um, I still want to work on this a bit. Yeah. So, with that, I think I'm going to call it a day here, guys. Um, this process still needs to be a bit refined. Um, I want to move my lava generator down here and a couple of other things that need to be taken care of. Like, I want to replace some of these hammers. They're good for the most part. Um, they could be better. Um, but that's going to use a little bit of technology we don't have yet. So, uh, again, my name has been Damien Oliver. Um, if you have any like, if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below, or feel free to email, sorry, feel free to message me on either on YouTube or on Twitch. Um, tomorrow, I think we will be getting started on some, some AE, or sorry, not AE. I wish AE, but no, not AE. Tomorrow we'll get started on some uh, industrial craft machines that uh, I think we're going to need to make going forward a little bit more efficient. So, uh, in the meantime, have fun.